plaintiff, Tracy Homig, says when she met her daughter's friend, the defendant, she was going through a hard time, and Tracy tried to be there for her and give her advice. However, Tracy claims she lost respect for the defendant after she gave alcohol to Tracy's 17-year-old daughter, and she's suing her today for a loan. Defendant Sarah Griffin says she had a hard time growing up because she lived in 14 different foster homes. Sarah insists Tracy's daughter was going to get alcohol whether she bought it for her or not, and she claims Tracy is suing for more than she owes. Start with you. Okay, so I'm a single mom that struggled with bad relationships in my past, and when I met Sarah, I um, felt like I needed to be there for her because I knew what she was going through. And so I, I tried talking to her and telling her that, you know, just to be by herself, be happy, you know, don't jump from relationship to relationship. And she agreed with me, but didn't listen. So I just let it go. She'll figure it out on her own. And then um, uh, I lost all respect for her when I found out she was buying my 17-year-old daughter alcohol. And- How did you find that out? Um, actually, I think she told me, yeah. Okay. What effect did that have on your relationship? I just didn't want anything to do with her. I didn't want my daughter to have anything to do with her because, oh, and then while she, as she was buying my daughter alcohol, she was also um, texting me and calling me and saying things like, I think your daughter's getting out of control with drinking, you know, while, <laughs> while she was buying it. <laughs> yeah. I was not. Let me hear from you, ma'am. Well, I did admit to buying Sierra alcohol. So how did that come up? I'm just curious um, how the conversation any, came Any about. relationship when you're younger, like you feel peer pressure mm -hmm. to go have fun and like we did have fun. Um, mm -hmm. But as soon as I realized how out of control Sierra was with alcohol, I promised her mother that I would stop. I was forward no, with her about it. Okay, so um, that's how it came up. Yeah. You saw her out of control and mm -hmm. you called her mom and said, I've been giving her alcohol, she can't handle it, she's out of control, mm -hmm. you need to do something about it, and no. I, I gave it to well, her and I won't do it if again. She, and then her daughter proceeded to tell me, like, if you're not gonna get it from me, I've got other people I can get it from. So I'm... Well, that shouldn't be up to you. When I met, um, I, I as well have a hard time um, developing relationships with people, healthy relationships. I went through foster care for um, numerous years of my childhood, I went through 14 different foster cares in and out of mm. there. And so whenever I met Sierra at my place of work, um, we became close friends and formed a sister-like bond. I cared for her. However, shortly after I met her mom and her mom was just all about the drama, getting in between our relationship and being a bad example for really? her daughter. Her daughter was even suspended from school for punching her ex-boyfriend and her mom congratulated her, told her- Really? Congratulated her? her. He Where'd you get that information what did from? The ex, what did the ex-boyfriend do? Broke up with her. And she punched him for breaking up? Yeah. Well, no, <laughs> there's more behind that story, Sarah. Took one of her beers. Well, it's, it's so not took as one easily of the said as done, but like, <laughs> All right. she, she attacked of, him in school. Perhaps that was one of the days you got her drunk. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You want to stand up, young lady? State your name. I'm Sierra. What do you want to tell us Here. today? Sierra. Um... I want to say that Sarah is a manipulator and we became friends because I thought I could trust her and I thought we were like for real good friends. Um, after my mom told her to stop buying me alcohol, she definitely did not stop. Um, and what did she use some type of, uh, what's the thing you use for the oil? Funnel? Funnel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just grab you by the head yeah, and put the funnel up to your mouth and pour it in. No, she does. So she why didn't. are you making reference to she didn't stop giving it to me? She would have stopped if you had stopped drinking it. She would have had no choice but to stop. My mom told her to stop and she just wouldn't. She just kept getting it from me, Judge. No, you wouldn't have been drinking had you stopped. <laughs> that is true. It, it was that hard. I was on one hand wanting to be a good friend to Sierra, keep secrets with her, be her friend. On the other hand, I was also trying to take advice from her mom. Let's and move on. Y'all know the judge ain't crazy. You've been drinking since you was 15. Go ahead. <laughs> Have you ever smelled alcohol on her breath prior to meeting her? Yeah. That's my point. She was drinking before her. I just want to say, y'all can't run this on the judge. You know I've been around long enough to know what age these kids start drinking. Come on. 
$328 for an unpaid loan. How does she owe you for that? Because she, I lent her money to get plates and insurance for her car in June. And I asked her if I could have the money back in October, October 1st, by mm -hmm. October 1st, and I haven't seen a dime. How much was it? It was 328? It was originally three forty-eight, mm -hmm. but she um, said that Sierra owed her th twenty dollars for, for something. For drinking, <laughs> for a <laughs> bottle of Hennessy. I don't know what it was. Y'all don't drink Hennessy, so so I was being fair about it, and I just let that go. I said, okay, three twenty-eight by October first. All right, and and then she blocked me on her phone, Facebook, everything. So I couldn't even talk. Let to me her. hear from you on this. Well, um, I did find out later on. I did agree to make the payments. However, before I had even asked Tracy to set a date, she had been texting me, harassing me, sending inappropriate things to me. And what did you say? I asked her during the harassing calls, uh -huh. if you want me to make you payments, please set a deadline and I will start making you payments uh -huh. by that date. That was my idea. I did, I was complying Okay, and what was the her. deadline? October 1st. And what happened? Um, midway through the, she allotted me three months to have it paid off. I found out that Sierra did damage to my phone. So because Sierra, Sierra is a minor. Her daughter. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because Sierra is a minor, I asked Tracy if like she could, the damage to my phone was $160. So I said I was willing to pay the difference, which mm -hmm. is $168. And she said, no, she was going to continue to take me to court for that. So that's why I'm here now. Your defense is... I don't owe her as much because her daughter ruined my phone. That is a countersuit. I don't want a countersuit for my phone. Okay, I, well that's the only way you could get paid for your phone is well, that I, you countersue. You no. Listen I didn't to think me. that it was like. I understand. I understand worth, what you think. Like, I'm telling you the law. That is not something you can take upon yourself. She has not agreed to that, or have you? Yeah, she has not agreed That's to deduct it. Sierra's she says witness. she wants her money. Mm -hmm. And so she's going to get her money today. You should have countersued her, and perhaps I'm... you could have gotten your money. You said, no, I don't want to countersue. <laughs> so no, you don't get your money. I, I Judge do. me for the plaintiff. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. I've learned my lesson. I'm not drinking with minors anymore. Good idea. Good idea. I definitely didn't do anything to your phone, and just you know in the, that. In we the, both in know the that. future, don't block people. Just talk to them about it. We would have never had to come here. You're harassing. Like you're the way you really? spoke to me was not okay. Like, really? You owed me money. Of course, I'm gonna harass you. 